All right, welcome back to more on the Zoom Live Track L6 Max. Now, I was just about to record some new video on multi track recording and overdubbing using the bounce feature, and Zoom came out with a firmware update for the L6 Max. It's been out for about a month now and in, in volume, and now there's already a firmware update, and this is called the System Version 1.1 Update. And I will give you a brief preview into what is involved. I have not done this yet. I'm going to do it in this video. I'm going to show you how the update grade works or how the update works on the L6 Max. And it is a little different from the original L6. But here's what the release notes say. They've added a function to adjust the USB output level during use as an audio interface. I'm assuming that's because sometimes the maybe the output could be really hot because of going from 32-bit into your DAW, maybe if the DAW is 16-bit. I'm not really sure. I'll try to locate that. There's not a lot of explanation about where to find these features, but we will try to discover those. And then number two, added a function to apply internal effects to the submix and the mix minus. So those are two separate buses in there. Uh, the, I can't really show doing it with mix minus, but with the submix, we, we can take a look at how that actually works. Before this update, you could go into the submix and mix here, but there was no way to add the effects back in. Apparently, they've added some way to do that. I'm not sure how. It's probably through the display, but we'll figure that out after we do the update. Here, the firmware update is available directly here, but first we've got to get the file loaded into the SD card, into the root directory of the SD card. So we're going to do that first. And the way we do that is you go to, and like I said before, you will just go to Google search, Zoom L6 Max support, and it'll quickly take you to this page where you've got the, and the firmware is right at the top. So you download that. And then once you've downloaded that, you'll have this, which has two PDF files. One is how to do the firmware update, which I'm gonna show you. And the other one is this file I just showed you that is the release notes for it. And then this L6 Max bin, is the actual file. And in the root directory, there's that, that file will, will, we're gonna copy it into the root directory of the SD card. And to do that, I'm gonna load the L6 editor. You could remove the micro SD card, put it in your computer and copy it in if you didn't wanna use this, but we'll do the file transfer mode, go into the file transfer mode, and this will mount it as a disk on your computer. This is how you access anything you've recorded on there, the sound pads and other things. We're going to then go into this folder that I just showed you. This, this is after I've downloaded this. And we're gonna copy this L6, L6 Max bin over into here. And with that done, that's all I need to do to get it onto the device. So I'm gonna then eject this. So back on the device, I'll go back to the home page. It's saying USB file transfer mode exit. So I will do that. And immediately it asks me, do I want to do the firmware update? There is a menu item in here to do the firmware update, but it picked up on the fact that it appeared there and then it's immediately asking me to do it. So I'm going to choose execute and then this will update me from 1.00 to 1.1. We'll choose execute here. Ready to update. Please restart. So by restart, I'm assuming it needs means power down. And then power back up. And now this is blinking. And I as I understand it on this unit, that blinking means it's updating the firmware. And then it will, well, well, we'll see. It says, update complete, turn power off. So I guess we need to power cycle one more time. And we'll go back into it. Zoom L6 Max. 
USB data cable, okay, interesting. So it's somehow doing some kind of a test there. So then let's go into Mix because Mix is where features like this have existed before, Mixer rather. And then we have Effect Parameter, Effect Return, Monitor Point, Sub Out Point, Mixer Control via MIDI. So maybe Effect Return, yeah. So we've got Effect Return to Submix has been added. And if I turn that on, I guess that's all there is to it. So now the effect return, in instead of going simply to the to the main or the master, then it's also going to wind up going into the submix or the mix minus bus. So that's pretty straightforward. Those two features there. Now, the thing about the USB level, let's see if we can locate that here. USB audio interface. So it's probably a setting under here. And we have it right here, send level. Oh, there's a send level for all the tracks. So I guess this would then help you match the level because you've got, you've got no gain controls on here. This should help you match the level per track to your DAW to get a better signal into your DAW. So let's just choose track one here. I've got a bass guitar hooked up to that. And it looks like I can go from default to boosting it. by huge amounts. So I can go 40 dB of additional gain added on the way out because this is this is probably to get it into the right range to match what you want to do in your digital audio workstation or other software in case you're recording at a low level. Very interesting. Oh, it does go minus as well. So this will also allow us to go minus infinity means basically <laughs> turning it completely off but we can also go all the way from minus 40 so we've got plus and minus 40 db of gain range that you can control per track on here so that's pretty interesting and like i said that was in the usb audio interface settings and i wonder if this will also be updated at some point on the actual L6 editor, or if it even has been. So I did download the L6 editor, but I'm not sure what version it was or what version it should be. Let me see if I can figure out if there's an update for that as well. You can see back here on the L6 editor, it does show that we have updated to device version 1.1. And I'll do something about about the editor 2.0, it's build 39. Yeah, the editor that's shown here is the same. There is no change to the editor at this point. So possibly that could be updated in the future. Now, let's see if there's, oh, there's a supplementary manual. So let's take a look at this. This supplementary manual should tell us more about the implementation and the purpose of some of these things. So adjusting the output level, we went to the audio interface and we chose the track and we can then, can be set to mute, which would, that mute was infinity, minus infinity or this. Now, does it say why? The individual track levels output to the computer, smartphone, or tablet can be adjusted. Um, it doesn't really say why. Reverb and other internal effects can be applied to the submix and mix minus. And we also already figured out. And it's also saying AI noise reduction cannot be used with these. When using an effect with mix minus, set the effect send level for channel seven, USB to zero, mix minus is not applied to the effect sound. 
Ah, uh, I see. I see. So if you want to do mix minus and also cancel the effect, then you're going to have to turn the effect level on channel 7, which is our mix minus input, down. So, and then there's a, a revised block diagram here. So it's pretty good to see that there's some new features here. Somebody had asked me in the comments on one of the earlier videos if you can send the effects to the submix bus. And at that time, you couldn't. And I said, no, you can't. But um, it's pretty, pretty good that they have listened. And now you can actually do that. So if you're interested in the L6 Max, use one of the links, one of the product links on this video. Uh, to uh, pick one up for yourself and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in keeping current on what's happening with the L6 Max. I've got another video coming out very soon. It's probably already online by the time you're watching this, but another video coming very soon on using the new bounce feature and how you can do multi-track recording to SD card using the L6 Max. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very soon.